Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis from Dennis World of Bodybuilding. I quickly want to talk about Ronnie Coleman, the legend, the great, for me, the best bodybuilder who ever stepped on stage. Um, you know, I was really not so happy when I saw the title of one video that Ronnie would maybe never walk again or never maybe could never walk again because he surely would not like to walk again of course but i will first say a little like, two three words about what i think about ronnie and my experience with him because i think that's what makes each of us different because the news is the same you will find the news everywhere on bodybuilding forums and channels but the experience each human being a bodybuilding fan has with that athlete is of course unique so ronnie Coleman was the first bodybuilder professional bodybuilder i ever actively saw or recognized and witnessed and i mean not seeing him live but when i was a kid i'm still pretty young but when, when i was a kid like 14 years of age something around that age i'm pretty sure it was like 14. um i was already a fan of wwe wwe smackdown wrestling raw john cena batista undertaker kane all these wrestlers and when I saw those guys, I thought that they are the biggest bodybuilders, biggest human beings there are. I didn't know what a bodybuilder is. I, I knew what a wrestler was. The, the bodybuilding spectrum wasn't in my head, you know. So I saw those guys. Of course, I know I knew Arnold and guys like that, but I, but that's that's a total different thing. But like I said, I thought. The wrestlers like John Cena, Batista, are the biggest human beings, speaking of muscle mass. And then one day, with a buddy of mine, we went through a grocery store. And it was not to buy a magazine. That was really um, by chance. So we went, we wanted to go to the, yeah, I think even soft drinks um, area and before you have that soft drink and cola and coke and i don't know what energy drinks and things like that there was the magazine um department of the um, grocery store store and we went through that and we we checked some of the logos by walking through that and next to that and then we saw something because when you see normal human beings on magazine covers it's it's normal okay but when you walk past a flex magazine cover where, where you see ronnie coleman totally pumped up full of veins with a string you know with a string around and a bodybuilding tank top you know that that was i mean what i mean a string and tank top and you never saw that you're like is this real or is this comic cartoon but obviously it was real it was a photograph of a, of a human being so that was my first experience with a bodybuilder pro bodybuilder in general and i was hooked on the culture since that day that was the exact day i was hooked with bodybuilding and the whole culture and sport and cult i would say i i, I would really describe it more as a cult and as a lifestyle than a sport so that that's really what i think and many many people think so that guy was it okay then of course i checked his career but you know when i checked his career um he was already retired and i didn't actively participate in his career so to say as of following his him through the magazines what placements he'll do next and everything like that so i checked the history but then he was 
but during that time he was fairly healthy and he didn't have that huge problems okay but right now we come to the year 2018 so this is a little bit like history of course um i thought i would talk about ronnie two minutes but i think it will be longer than that so this year i for the first time was the first time i visited cologne and i visited the fibo in germany cologne is very far away from my place um and so it's not like okay i drive one hour it's more like eight nine hours with the car so we went there with my brother and i saw many athletes i went there on saturday which is the most packed day but my my goal was in one day because i was one day at the fibo expo my goal was meet all the pro bodybuilders you want to meet in one day and i reached that goal i had to send though in my hands and everything you can check that out you know it's not like i'm joking dexter jackson jay cutler dorian yates and many more Rolly winkler many more whoever was there i met him kevin Lavroni, who signed the the art of my brother so it was an amazing time when i saw ronnie and the crazy thing is was he was sitting and of course when you sit you don't know how he's feeling health wise so in the back you see something which i don't know what to call in english language i really don't know the expression for that but you you, you know you paid five euros you can see here five euros then you you know played the game so to say i'll just call it a game i only you know won a bar but the guy in front of me he won a ronnie coleman belt and also um signing a signed belt of ronnie coleman and he so he went next to ronnie coleman he went in his the athlete's area and the thing was that ronnie coleman wanted to stand up you know to sign those that belt when he tried to stand up he didn't try to say stand up you know normally he had his crutches and i really saw the pain in his eyes it's different when you hear it on youtube than to see it and you you really felt that pain i was like he was like one meter ahead of me so with my hand if i would move a little bit forward and clap him or something i could clap him not not even with moving forward he's he was right next to me he, you see it on the photo i was standing here he was there and the guy was like here okay and then he went he went there where the athletes and the workers of the booth were so he stood up on his crutches and he still had problems with that he felt a lot of pain and that was in april and after that he went under many other spinal and back and i don't know what surgeries so right now we don't know if he can walk ever again normally without crutches and without any help so to say and i don't know that's like when i saw him first he was like um he was hulk he was more than hulk he was even extremer than hulk and when i saw him then after all those years meeting him in real life it was of course a little bit um not so great to see him that way but i still had a great experience of course i knew how he was like health wise but i had a great experience and the crazy thing was that i was like like i said i was here and i started i don't i didn't know what to say okay so i paid my 10 euros or what to have a picture a big picture of him which he would sign and i waited there and when time was coming right to me i tried to talk have a little chat with ronnie and i had i said ronnie you were the best athlete on stage ever you know won the miss olympia I said your best was really the best and everything things like that 
your best is way better than Phil and everything. And before saying that, I wasn't like a little fanboy who was shouting out that things. I asked him, Ronnie, Ronnie, uh, do you think your best would beat Phil Heath's best? And he said, hell yeah. And then, and when he said that, he really said that in, in like one of his videos I watched back then and his eyes were shining extremely. He was really happy when I talked with him about those days. I talked with him. It was like a minute or two I talked with him, but those minute or two when I talked about his reign, yeah, so to say, his peak, his mood really went up at max. And when we did that photo then, he was very happy and smiling. And because I met him under those circumstances and I saw him smiling and being happy and everything, I really had a great experience with him. So I remember him always as a true warrior and a full blood athlete. You know, in, in Germany, you say to those kind of guys, you say, um, you say, I'm... Um, Vollblütiger Sportler or Vollblutsportler, that means like a full blood sport, uh, sport athlete. So with any any part of his body, so to say, and with each each blood he has in his you know body, he thinks about the sport and he's really focused on that. I'm sorry, I little messed it up with those little terms, but. Yeah, full blood sportler, you say. Yeah, full blood sportler means full blood athlete, and he's that. He still is that, and he always will be. The only thing now we come to the, to my, two cents about it after talking about Ronnie. That was a personal thing I talked about right now, but speaking about it medically and health wise, I really think that. You know, he had a lot of surgeries and. The thing he messed up is that after those surgeries, he was prohibited to train. He was not allowed by his dog to train for six months, for example. But he went into the gym after one, two, three weeks and that. And he went there with his crutches, with his machines and everything. And that was not good. And after that, he had several, I think he had like six, eight, I don't know how many surgeries only this year and he never recovered as the dog advised him to do and I hope I don't know I don't think he will right now I don't think he will but I really hope that he will rest because I think if he don't rest body wise physically there is no chance that he will be like he was and with resting, I mean, he can do probably, probably his dog, you know, not his dog, dog, or how you say, his doctor, um, advised him to do some um, movements without weights or a step-to-step -step way to coming into back, coming into that um, stage where you can walk again or walk a little bit and things like that but I'm 100% sure that he didn't advise him to train with weights and be in the gym and pump it up and everything and he didn't okay that's that's just a fact so at the end each individual is able to do what he wants because at the end it's his life he is living with the consequences and he will live with the consequences. But I think really the 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 chance that he could not or won't ever walk again on his own to even have that chance in your health. You shouldn't risk that. You know, that's a huge thing. That's not like okay, I I will have some pain. That's that's more than that. That's you know that's not. There are so many guys who are really disabled since day one or had a huge accident, car accident. They would probably 
kill 100 persons to be able to walk again because you can't buy that at a certain stage you can't buy that he he paid so much money for those operations but even if he would rest those six months after one of the operations maybe there's still a chance he couldn't walk again but the chances are lower than now or what he did so at the end okay the video was pretty long but i wanted to talk about that it's a important topic and i for sure didn't want to show a picture of him on crutches i wanted to show a picture relatively current is from this year april 15th but where he is smiling so where he's happy so he's still having joy in his life but it's mostly when he thinks about his reign okay subscribe to my channel i hope you like the video and a little you know inside video or my personal experience with him I want to get 3,000 subscribers this year, so we have over 300 left for that goal. Let's do it.